And, and of course, isn't it interesting now the governance meetings are going on right now. Texas and Oklahoma are a part of those, but the other four teams are in as well. Which among the four, and Cincinnati had a great year last year, Houston was good too, UCF, we know what they've done, and then Brigham Young is solid. Which of those four do you think might flourish better when the conference starts with them next year? I mean, it's, it's clear Cincinnati's probably in the best spot at this moment, uh, just because they came off the playoff and locking up Luke Fickle to a new contract and the recruiting that they've done. They've recruited a really, really good level. I mean, look at what they did in the NFL draft. I mean, that that's some impressive evaluation, impressive development that they've done. So you think you, you've got to think they're in a really good situation coming in. But I, I think long term, to me, Houston, I think is the team with the highest field of them all, just because. I think the institutional want to that they have, they have been very aggressive for the last decade plus when it comes to facilities, when it comes to spending, when it becomes trying to act like a power five program. Now that you're going to give them the status of, of the conference that they're compete, they've been competing with, they've been competing with the Baylor and the TCUs and the Texas Techs for recruits. This gives them a little bit of a boost in, in terms of trying to keep some of those recruits. So, those Houston area recruits that so many schools have come in and taken. And I think they've done a, they did a really good job of closing the 22 class uh, that they they seem to be getting, doing a good job in the transfer portal. And obviously he's coming off that 12 and two season and Dana Holderson got himself a new contract. They, they seem to be spending really uh, aggressively on staff. Uh, they're working on getting an office building put together. They're raising money for that right now to get their own football panel and office building. Uh, so I, I think when you look at all the, the desire to succeed from them and compared with the stability they have from a presidential standpoint, from a coaching standpoint, I think their ceiling is really high uh, long-term. Sam, uh, Jimbo 